What makes a great movie? Could it be the story, the characters, or something even greater? Hell if I know, I just want to talk about the movie. So I just finished watching the Ruby movie. And I actually liked it a lot, which I did not expect myself to like it. I was on the same bandwagon as everyone else for not really looking forward to this movie. However, when I started watching it, I was pleasantly surprised. You know, it feels weird to say that I actually really liked the Ruby movie. Because a lot of it was pretty bad. Like, n no joke, a, a good chunk of it was pretty bad, but for some reason, I came out still really liking it. Maybe it's because I'm a fan of the series already which might be a big part of it. It wasn't the story, that's for sure. It definitely was not the story part. I think it was just like the minor character moments here and there that really made it shine more for me. Yeah, it's no shocker that Ruby has a special place in my heart, as many as for many people it does. So jumping to spoilers a bit more here, the parts that I really love was the character moments, specifically the ones with like, <laughs> as everyone's been memeing about, is Jean and Jessica Cruz, the Green Lantern. I, I really like that stuff. I was surprised. I was like, whoa, okay, they actually have some character stuff going on here, and it's pretty good. Now, would I recommend someone watching this movie? Hell no. No, no, of course not. Why, why would I recommend them watch this? Here's the thing, right? Going into this movie, I was very confused on who it was aimed towards, because it wasn't really aimed towards Justice League fans. Because I know the two demographics they're trying to pick. It's either like superhero fans of the Justice League or Ruby fans. And it looks like from what I can tell, since the movie is split into part one and part two, the first part's more Ruby centric. Well, the second part's probably going to be more Justice League centric. Well, for since we're talking about the first part and everything, it's not the greatest. When it boils down to it, it's really not the greatest. <laughs> From just like the backgrounds and like where they all take place in fighting, it's just not great. It's pretty bland and boring for the most part, because most of the action takes place in an open grassy field. That, you know, I just realized something. Not a lot happens this movie. I mean, like, really, nothing really happens major this movie. It can be wrapped up in either taking place at the school or taking place on that grassy, flat land where they fight. You know, it's it's actually kind of funny. <laughs> I'm realizing that some, quite a few fights take place in just flat lands. Like, I feel like Ruby does not do well when they're just fighting in flat lands. It's just the background is boring. Yeah, I still like this movie. It's definitely because like the small character moments. So like this movie is definitely like a fine for me. Just a fine. It's a fine movie. Like I'm, I'm holding off all my judgments till the second part comes off. That's the wrong choice of words. Comes out. But yeah, you get what I mean. <laughs> yeah, but for the most part, part one is it's okay. It has some character moments that makes it special and enjoyable. But does that save the whole film? No, I don't think it does. <laughs> How about we talk about the unnatural parts with Ren, Nora, and Cyborg. Dude, what the heck was going on there? <laughs> there, was, there was something wrong there. I don't know what was, what was going on. Like, just Ren just... It was like, it was like a switch flipped, okay? A, a switch flipped for Ren in his brain, and he was acting like the jealous boyfriend. <laughs> uh, so I'm like, whoa, jeez, what the hell's going on, Ren? Ren, chill! Chill! <laughs> They're guests in your universe. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, but it was weird. I, I think that's like a big down point. I, I did not like that ran- it felt random. It felt very forced. That character drama between Cyborg, Ren, and Nora. Okay, so an I just realized this, right? Another big part that I really loved was the Batman and Weiss stuff. The thing I really liked about the Batman and Weiss side story was that it just, they had a natural chemistry. Plus it also makes natural sense to pair them up together since they're both of like the higher class of society. So they'd kind of naturally get along since they know the ways of that area. Yeah, but as I said, more or less I, I like this movie. Definitely give it a 6 out of 10. Just, just fine. It's fine. It's above average. Shish. Maybe. Okay, maybe not now I think about it, but I, I think it's so good for the most part. For Ruby fans. For Ruby fans. It has a little elements that make it more enjoyable. Yeah, but tell me some of your opinions about this movie. What, what do you think about it? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Huh? What is it? What is it? Are you expecting much from the second one? Because I'm expecting them to go to the Justice League universe and do stuff there. Maybe they'll have cast costume redesign. I'd like that. I'd like some new costume designs. That'd be pretty cool. All right. Well, yeah, that's about it. So, ciao.